Kids ask me this all the time. If an octopus has eight legs and an octagon has eight sides, why is October not the eighth month? Turns out there's a reason for this. The first time this topic came up for me was when I taught fourth grade geometry because I was teaching about polygons and part of my unit was talking about vocabulary and a lot of the prefixes come from Latin roots and not Latin, not as in Latin America, but Latin as in Rome from over 2000 years ago, this was a language that was spoken. And I thought it was really important for my kids to know that. So when I talked about these prefixes, like tri meaning three, quad, four, pentagon, five, this was really important. And when they started to notice here, I never used the terms hex, heptagon. I used septagon. And then we kept on going. There was the octagon, nonagon, decagon, and I would literally write it this way because I didn't want to tell them something I wanted them to discover it on their own and they started wondering this looks just like our calendar why is that and that's too much of a coincidence so we started learning why and that's when I will bring up well in Rome there was a time when the calendar only had 10 months so our calendar does have connections to the Roman calendar meaning a lot of the names come from the original calendars and changes happened in Rome. And I would just ask kids, what do you see? What do you notice? And they saw that the last four months on the Roman calendar were named the exact same as our last four months on our calendar, but why they're different. So our calendar has 12 months and it's a solar based calendar, meaning we look at how long it takes for our planet Earth, there's the sun, and how long it takes for Earth to go around the sun, which takes 365 days. Now, this calendar back then was a lunar calendar, meaning they looked at the moon and how often they saw the moon come back in the sky. And the moon takes 30, 31 days. So that's how this calendar came up. So the original names for the bottom half were based on just the numbers like the number of month it was so like quintuplet means five it was the fifth month hex is six like hexagon so sextagon and that's the sixth month and then again sept for seven octo like oct octopus eight november so non nine and des or die in spanish for december which was the tenth month so let's look at some other ways the calendar changed so after King Romulus comes another king and he changes it to looks even more like our current calendar with 12 months. He adds two new months that also look very similar to our months. So, okay, so what do we have so far? So far we have the 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, and 10th month. And the first four months are named after gods. So we have Martius, which is after Mars, which is a god, which is just like march we have well i think you can see this one very well after another goddess so you can tell that's april here you can see this is just like may after another goddess and junius you know it's written with an i looks just like june so the first half the first four months are named after roman gods the next set of months are just named after numbers because they're placed in the calendar and then he adds these two more months one is also named after a god and you could again that i we would respell it with a j Januarius, which is just like you guessed it january and Februarius, another minor roman god is february so now we have a 12 month calendar and i think this one was about 355 days so very 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 close to what we have today which is actually amazing that they were able to figure out all that out just by making observations in the sky so it looks pretty close but why do these two months over here look so different it's july and august what happened well i'm gonna tell you uh you may have heard of a guy called julius caesar and pretty pretty famous person we've probably heard of him and so they named two of the months after julius augustus caesar so here we have Julius, the fifth month, which is June, and Augustus, 
which is, of course, August. And so there you have it. Uh, throughout time, we've kept these same root names, these same Latin names from this Roman calendar, and they just developed into our current calendar. And the only thing we did was reorder the months. So once this became the first month, January, all of a sudden everything is renamed. And even though these are the seventh, eighth, ninth, and tenth month, now they go to the bottom and they become the 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th month. And that is why October is no longer the 8th month, even though we think of octo, octagon, octopus, 8. It used to be the 8th month of the year, but now it is the 10th on our calendar. That's it for today's lesson. I hope you found this super helpful. And I loved making these connections with kids and how language connects and history connects really with our math and the way we see the world today. I hope you loved it. Please share if you did. Subscribe to the channel. Ask tons of questions. I'm here to help. I hope you have a marvelous day and be well.